It's Kevin again. We have the always famous, always popular, known across America, blue catfish. But here's what we're going to do. See, I grew up, we fried fish. We fried them whole, we did nuggets. I love it. I loved it. But it's just something inside of me. I always got to, I got to find something different to do with it, you know? And that's one thing I'm going to show you. You know, some you can do at home, some you can have fun with, some you can be, it's, it's entertaining. So let's start with the catfish. A nice size fillet. Sprinkle that on each side here. And Old Bay is just one of those common seafood seasonings. I like it. The flavor profile is really common with like a Creole cooking. You know, very, very southern flavor. Which works. And it's that kind of that, 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 that cross, that fusion that we're doing with the traditional catfish. And what we're going to do here. You want to call it a new age catfish, you want to call it fun, you want to call it different. You can call it crazy, but we tried it. A nice hot pan, extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm going to put a little bit more oil in here than I did do normally. I want to get that nice and hot because, again, cold oil, fish sticks. You want that barely smoking point. Y'all yeah, hear that? Nice. Hey, hold on. Let me get that for you. I like it. <laughs> now I'm gonna kind of shake as I put this in here, to help prevent that from sticking on me. Once I feel comfortable, we'll let it go. Now I kept everything in there, bones and all. I wanted to keep that that shape of the fish that we have here. Those bones really hold it together. Now after it's cooked, that's gonna fillet right off on you. So don't worry about choking on bones. And come on, we've all eaten the whole fried catfish. You know how to deal with it by now. Now while that's going. That's some shrimp over here. Now the shrimp I'm going to do a little more simple. It's going to be part of our sauce. It's a little salt pepper. What we're going to try to do here is just sear this shrimp slightly on both sides. Now I'm trying to cook it. It's a quick sear. And with this, I'm only going to sear one side. It's just about getting a certain flavor in there. Again, we're going to use this for the sauce and we're going to recook it again. So we don't want to cook it too much now. You turn around, it's going to be rubbery later and not appetizing. And everything I just said to you, you're not going to believe. You know, so we're going to try to avoid that. There we go, just a quick crisp. So one of the things we're trying to do is get that base flavor in there. Then we'll start adding uh, sun-dried tomatoes and chopped tomatoes to that in a little while here. Same with the catfish. We're now trying to cook this catfish all the way through right now. We're just building upon, building upon, building upon flavors. Grab a yellow onion here. Turn around and take my catfish. All we're going to do is switch that with the onions. Let those sit there and cook down a little bit. While those are going, we're going to build upon another flavor of our sauce here. Just going to do some basic grocery, grocery store tomatoes. Just a quick, easy dice on those. Didn't have to be pretty, so we're going to cook them down. Let's go ahead and take our tomatoes, turn down the heat a little bit, give it time to release a lot of the moisture and really develop our sauce. Add a little salt, some stock, just let it cook down in that. This works for our onions. Take this catfish, the onions nice base for your catfish to cook on. All that flavor, remember always when you're trying to get a flavor inside your meat, when you're cooking it in the oven, on the bottom because heat rises and along with that the flavors will rise up with it. So you end up with a nice roasted sweet flavor inside your cat catfish from those onions. While we're waiting on the sauce and the catfish, just want to get some basil ready. 
This basil is going to be the uh, finishing touch for our sauce. What you want to be careful with basil is you always, always, always add the basil in last. The later you add, the more upfront flavor you're going to get. So we're going to cut this basil nice and thin. If you want to cut it thicker, that's fine. Do your thing. Yeah, that's going real nice. Yeah, those tomatoes are breaking down on us. Trying to get this nice rustic sauce. Remember I said I like butter, right? I'm gonna keep this fish nice and moist. Put a little butter on top. It's gonna add a little flavor. What it's also gonna do, again, because of the milk solids inside the uh, butter, that's gonna help that fish brown and crisp up on top as it's in the oven. And one thing I didn't tell you about these sun drieds are, you wanna make sure you rehydrate them. So these have been soaking in water for about a, two hours. Otherwise, what ends up happening with the sun dries, they might get a little too chewy on you. This makes them a little more edible. So we're gonna go ahead, throw some of these sun dries in this sauce. That really changes the color of it, you know? So you have that light red, almost pinkish, and all of a sudden you have this bright red jump in there. Let that cook down for a minute, and I'm gonna add butter to that, by the way. <laughs> Let's see how this catfish looks. Oh, yeah. See, and it's kind of old school. A little bit of butter. I didn't go crazy with it. And one of the reasons I do that is butter really brings things together. You know, cream out your sauce, you know, and, and it'll give it a nice velvety texture. Now we'll go ahead and add the shrimp in there. See if that gets, see how that's getting a little too thick? We don't want a ragu. And that's fine. You can always fix that. A way to prevent that is cooking it all in not so high of a heat. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're about there now. Now here we go. Like I said, always add your herbs last. Come over here. Finish it with my basil. Don't add that basil. So you're ready to take it out of the stove. You don't want to kill that flavor. All right, let's eat. We're gonna almost strain this a little bit. With that nice, rich, buttery, tomatoey sauce. We're gonna use that for our base. Make sure you're really delicate with this catfish. And once that cooks, it's gonna flake off on you. This is one of the times when that fish spatula comes in handy. Those onions right in the center. Nice roasted flavor. The onions took on the flavor of the catfish. The catfish took on the flavor of the onion. That's what we're looking for. And this is one of those dishes you invite the family over for. You do two, three of these on a big platter, you're all right. The color back in the dish. I take the tomatoes and the shrimp and everything. We're gonna go rustic. We're gonna spread that right on top there. The reason we put this on top and not the bottom is because you want to see it. I mean, there's a lot of color in there. You can be as elegant as you want, but sometimes it's nice to be rustic. Have fun with it. Catfish, the roasted onions, and a sun-dried tomato and shrimp sauce. Again, I'm Kevin Kimbrough, and this is Urban Soul Wild.